here tonight. I want to first thank our incredible team that has worked their tails off for the last year and the last month here in Iowa. All of you volunteers, you have lifted us up from, what, February of last year when we got into this. Nobody knew who we were. Nobody knew what we were up to. And together we have created a movement that I think is going to carry our nation to the next level. And for that, all of the patriots across this state, across this country, everybody watching on the live stream, we are so grateful to you. And I promise you this, we are just getting started in leading this movement to our future, okay? Now, this is a campaign founded on speaking the truth, not just when it's easy, but when it's hard, not just to the Democrats, but to our own side, and not just to other campaigns and candidacies, but to ours. And so I will stick to the truth tonight. The first hard truth, and this one's hard for me, I got to admit this, but we've looked at it every which way, and I think it is true that we did not achieve the surprise that we wanted to deliver tonight. And I think that that's just a hard fact that we're going to have to accept as a campaign. And the question then is, what do we do that is right for our country? And so Porv and I, we, we actually didn't make this contingency plan before everybody told us to. We said, no, we're not doing that. But we talked about it tonight. We took a little bit of time in our apartment in Des Moines before coming here to make some hard choices. And I wanted to make a couple of announcements tonight to get the business out of the way. And then I want to tell you where we're going. As of this moment, we are going to suspend this presidential campaign. And this is going to have to be, there is no path for me to be the next president absent things that we don't want to see happen in this country. And I think that I am very worried for our country. I think we are skating on thin ice as a nation. We have done everything in our part to make and done every one of us in this room has done our part to save this country. And I am so proud of every one of you who have lifted us up, but we're a campaign founded on the truth. And so that's why we've made that decision today. And I'm also making the decision that this has to be an America first candidate in that White House. As I've said since the beginning, there are two America first candidates in this race. And earlier tonight, I called Donald Trump to tell him that I congratulated him on his victory. And now going forward, he will have my full endorsement for the presidency. And I think we're going to do the right thing for this country. And so I'm going to ask you to follow me in taking our America first movement to the next level. It did not begin in 2016. It began in 1776. And for the next journey of this race, we are going to make sure that our movement is actually the one that actually leaves and saves this country in the next step.